Hey guys, today I just wanted to do a really quick review of an Acura TL that I drove. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Acura TL is basically a slightly fancier V6 Honda Accord. Uh, and the V6 Honda Accord has always been a pretty solid car, but I was, I was, I must say I was very impressed by this experience. And I'm just going to briefly talk about my experience driving it, sort of unscripted, and then I'll show you guys some clips. I think I'm going to do a lot more stuff in this format for these quick little reviews, and I'll probably revisit a lot of the cars that I do uh, review in this format for more in-depth videos later on. Um, but this is just, you know, my general experience from driving it for the first time. So this is a second gen. I don't know the actual year, but it's probably around 2008. And it is the second gen model with the 3.2 liter V6, making 258 horsepower and 233 pound-feet of torque, which are pretty respectable numbers. Um, so my basic first impressions... As soon as I got in the car, one of the first things I noticed was the steering. Well, as soon as I got in the driver's seat, one of the first things I noticed was the steering was rather heavy at low speed. Um, heavier than, I'd say, any car I've driven up until this point. Um, definitely had a luxury feel, um, or at least I presume that what was, was what the intention was. Um, once I started getting up to higher speed and going into corners with a little bit more momentum, I noticed that it started to become a lot more vague. I mean, that's what you'd expect. You know, you gain speed, the steering becomes a little bit less responsive. But compared to some other cars, it just felt like there was much more of a gap between how the low speed steering felt where it was very heavy, surprisingly heavy, and the high speed steering felt where it was quite vague and sort of hard to read the road at times. That combined with the suspension. so. Luckily, it has Honda suspension, which means it's good, but it was, it was it, well, I should say but, and it was very comfortable. It was, you know, it soaked up bumps, maybe not quite as well as some other more luxury sedans that I've been in, but it definitely soaked them up. They were definitely less prevalent than especially the Civic, but also the WRX, um, but it really, it really soaked them up, but the suspension also felt relatively well planted. But just because it was a little bit less dialed in than, say, the Civic, uh, combined with the vague steering, it was a little bit hard to tell what was going on when you were going through tight corners at higher speeds. It just all felt a little bit vague. I, I It didn't make me lose confidence, but compared to other cars I've driven, it was a little bit off-putting, we'll say. Uh, the other thing, this is an Acura, so it is designed to be uh, you know a luxury a higher end car uh, and overall the interior quality was decent I uh, definitely better than both of the civics I've driven definitely better than the Impreza I think probably a little bit better than a VW Passat this one was older though as I said it is a little bit of an older model and it did have some wear the dash was a little cracked um, but the, the materials were relatively nice. It was all pretty solid plastic, as I can imagine it being new, being a quite nice interior, quite comfortable place to be. The seats were very comfy. Uh, I was very impressed by the seats. Um, they didn't have a whole lot of bolstering, but they had enough, and they, they felt very good. It was it was one of the first cars where I really felt like well, I could lounge in this. Like I could I could really road trip this thing and not have any issues. Um, not the biggest fan of the exterior. The exterior is nice. It is a little bland. I mean, you, you can't really expect too much from Honda, especially during this time. I did really like the headlight design is good, um, and the general body lines are fine. I also like the hood. The hood had sort of this V type thing where it wasn't, you know, it didn't. The bonnet didn't quite cover the entire top. Well, I guess the hood. Um, it was just sort of this middle section that was sort of a V, which I thought was sort of neat. It looked very cool. The front end definitely emphasized that triangular look um, that actors of this time period were sort of known for. You know, not over the top, but it, it just sort of felt like a you know a more aerodynamic Accord, essentially. Um, 
pretty neat. Not my favorite. It, it was also pretty dirty and worn, but I, I just looking at pictures and stuff, not my favorite exterior. Not the point. Uh, it's, it's, it's decent, but not outstanding. So as far as the, the driving experience, like I said, it's very nice when you're just commuting around town. The suspension is comfy. The brakes feel very linear and good. The accelerator is good. The engine is responsive. It does what you want it to do. It'll get you around very easily. It makes pretty solid fuel economy as well. But when you want to drive a little bit harder, um, if you are just cruising around and you put your foot to the floor, it will like it drops gears like bricks. Like it is, it's quite an experience. I'm I'm sure it's not the most aggressive automatic on the planet. But out of all the automatics I've driven, it's pretty aggressive. It'll usually dump like two to three gears when you mash the throttle. There'll be like a, a second of lag. There's a brief period of lag, which you expect from an automatic. And then all of a sudden, you just get this wave of torque. And it, it feels really nice. Um, it is a little bit jarring, especially for me, since I'm used to the immediacy of a manual. You know, I just pop down a gear or two and I'm in the power band. Um, but... Uh, and I have complete control over that using the clutch, but it, it does feel very solid. It's definitely a good experience. It feels nice uh, launching it while rolling. It's just very solid. A little bit jarring, but in a good way, which I, I quite enjoyed. It's definitely a fast car. Uh, you know, 258 horsepower in, in the long run is not a ton, but it, 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 it's solid. It feels really good. It really raised the bar for me because, I mean, the highest horsepower car I'd driven up until this, well, okay, the, the, the fastest car I'd, I'd driven up until this point was the WRX. And it, you know, it's got about 230, relatively similar, a little lighter, um, but it's also turbocharged. But this thing just, I mean, it's definitely faster than the WRX. I'll say that, um, at least from a roll, it's definitely faster. Um, it feels really solid. The torque will really throw you back. It's it's a it's a fun experience. It pulls really hard from both a standstill and rolling. Uh, because it's front wheel drive, it'll really pull you out of corners like you know any good front wheel drive, especially Honda should. Uh, it has a little bit of torque steer, but I mean I barely felt it. Um, Might have just been me m making it up. I don't know if I it was it was very chill. It, if there was any, it was not something you would really notice even when you're pushing the car that the car that hard. Um, the V6 is, it's, it's nice. Um, you know, Honda makes some solid V6s. I prefer their four cylinders in general, but it's, it's a solid engine. It, it sounds meh. It's not that great. It's reasonable. Uh, it puts out good numbers. It definitely makes the car feel lighter than it is. And it'll spin tires, no problem, if you just have it at a standstill and mash the throttle. Um, but it's, 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 it's a good engine. It has VTEC as well, which is nice, although I didn't really feel it kick in at any point. Um, it's just sort of passively going on in the background. You know, it's not a, a K-series or a B-series where it's something that you can feel pretty definitely. But um, it's, it's there. So that's sort of nice, you know, helping you out for fuel economy and whatnot. Um, what else? The manual mode. So it's an automatic with a manual mode. You know, a slide shifter over, you have the sequential. It's, it's a gimmick, like all of those are for the most part. Um, but it is pretty responsive. I've driven a Mini Cooper before, and compared to that one's manual mode, uh, this, this Acura is much more responsive. Uh, it'll, it'll, you want it to drop a gear, it'll drop a gear. I mean, a little bit of lag. The change ups are very fast. Upshifts are almost immediate, um, from what I can tell. Uh, it's very solid in that respect. It'll hold gears for you, so you can take it all the way up to redline, and it'll stay in whatever gear you're in. I don't believe that it shifts down to first at stop signs, although I, I could be wrong about that. Um, I did. I wasn't really paying super close attention at that point. But it definitely changes up very fast. Downshifts can be a little bit jarring, but I think that's mostly just because I wasn't, you know, I'm used to having a clutch and having that precision, being able to rev match it and, you know, let the clutch bite at my leisure versus this thing where if I want to downshift and get some engine braking, it's sort of a lurch because the clutch just engages. So, yeah, it, but it's pretty solid. It's, it's not bad for a gimmick. It, it's definitely fun. Uh, it, it 
overall the car drives well it feels relatively tight not not quite as tight as the civic but also you've got that added bonus of significantly more power it's definitely a fast car it really raised the bar for me uh, I, I think it I, I really was not expecting it to be as good as it was it really blew me out of the water uh, I knew these these v6 accords were good but I, I didn't realize they were they were this good like it's it's really fun it's really solid um, it really raised the bar for me. It's definitely fast, definitely fun. I'm very impressed with it. It combines some of the best aspects of the Civic and the WRX. Not that it's necessarily related or connected to either of those cars, especially. Um, but, you know, it has the, the Honda feel and the relatively, I mean, not quite as tight and as dialed in as the Civic, mostly just because it's heavier and it has that, you know, luxury suspension. But it's definitely got some, you know, nice characteristics of a Honda as far as that driving fuel, but it also has that power and torque of the WRX, which just creates this amazing combination that sort of combines the best of both worlds and makes it into a really good driving experience. And I, I really enjoyed it a lot. So if you ever get a chance to drive one of these cars, I'd say uh, definitely take that. Uh, it's, 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 it's an incredibly fun experience and you won't regret it. Um, so yeah, and then I'll include some GoPro clips here at the end and I should have some strewn about in this video. So uh, if you enjoyed this, let me know. Uh, I should have more content coming soon. I've sort of had, you know, it's, it's been rough putting stuff out, uh, but I'm going to try to, I have lots of videos, lots of raw footage that is ready to be edited and distributed, so I'm going to be putting that out. Um, it's just going to take me a little bit of time. I have to work up the motivation to really sit down and do it. Um, so thank you guys for still being here. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers who have come in. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying my content. Uh, I will be putting out more stuff. It'll just, just give me a little bit of time. Um, and thank you so much for all the comments and all the feedback I've been receiving on all my videos. Um, it really means a lot uh, that I have this. And I, I like the fact that we're forming a little bit of a community here. It's really nice to see. So uh, I'll be making more videos. If you guys have any ideas for videos, I'd love to take them. Uh, but I assure you, content is on the way. It's just going to be a slow trickle for a little bit. Uh, so thank you guys very much, and I hope you enjoy uh, the remainder of this video. It's like very wonky. It's uh, it's well, I, I presume it's hydraulic. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, it feels um, the steering is really. I don't know if that's. I don't know why I'm so surprised by it, but I mean compared to all other Hondas I've driven, and I'm gonna be saying a lot of stuff like this, but it's mostly for me um, as notes to go back to later. Oh, that's fine. But um, it's the steering is really really heavy for a Honda. Oh. Um, this is nice. It's nice. It feels good. The suspension feels really nice. Mm -hmm. um, it's really. Uh, that, I was looking at that late, earlier. This whenever I was going to County Market. Uh, we're just gonna pull up. Tell me if you see any other cars. Uh, no, you're good. we're good. All right, I'm just gonna stop behind this stop and then. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does torque steer. Jesus Christ! Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's got a little bit. That bitch is burning the rubber. God damn. Yeah. It, it puts it down. Yeah. It puts right. it down hard. Wow. No, what I was talking about. Here's my gas can. <laughs> <laughs> Car immediately comes yeah, over. Yeah, it's gonna happen, <laughs> guaranteed. Shit, fuck. Damn, yeah, that really pushes. Let's see, let's see if it holds, it holds the gears. It does. It does. It holds gears. That's impressive. Good job. You made an automatic that works. I know that's not a condo. Downshift a second is sort of rough, but uh, probably just because I'm at higher revs. They're all fucking dead. Oh! <laughs> Dang! What? It doesn't mess around! You join it? Yes. Ugh. I didn't realize I was in third. Dude, I might see if I can convince Janelle to get a new car and let me have this one. This thing is sick! It does not... Why do I enjoy this so much? I get why people really like the V6 Accords now. Like, this thing does <laughs> not mess around. Wowzers. Wow! I give this a 10 out of 10 to Pogger. <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> Did 
just a moron. Fucker and immediate fucking pot. You need to shut up, bro. <laughs> Each time someone does this pogger on this planet, something horrible happens. A tragedy occurs. Yes. This thing's sick. This thing, this thing makes me want to risk it all. Like This is why we need to have a podcast, because you're just, I'm trying to record, and it's literally just me wheezy that pogger. Yeah, I think, I think our podcast would be the most chaotic thing. It'll be probably crazy. be the next one on the, on this, on my podcast. What's your podcast called? It's just Car Parts and Your Health Parts. Oh, parts. no. I don't have a real name for it. We're gonna drop a gear. Oh, a little bit of brake. Drop it in. Oh, understeer a little bit, but not bad. Brake. The, the only parts off. that I actually worry about you driving there, whenever like right off the curb, it's like a giant crack. And like the tire's gonna get stuck. I can feel it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dang. This is nice. Okay. This is this is like this is like the best parts of the Subaru combined with like, minus the turbo yeah. combined with but the fact that it's fast and responsive um well Welcome. thank you that was that was really amazing that was a great experience honestly this might be like one of the best cars I've ever driven that which is saying like, something yeah it even outdoes that thing in some respects what the Subaru it outdoes the Subaru in oh. some respects god <gasps>